Thank you everybody for attending today's integration webinar with OpenSpace. My name is Kevin Kellish. I'm a strategic product consultant with Procore's customer success team. I'm joined today with Brent uh, Paracello. He's our director of sales operations for OpenSpace. So I'm excited to introduce OpenSpace today, uh, one of our longtime site camera partners within the app marketplace. So the reason I'm excited, OpenSpace uh, is one of our most widely used site cameras used across all of our uh, segments and all of our clients at Procore. So during today's session, during this time, uh, we want you to walk away with that incredible value uh, that OpenSpace brings to your project teams. We also hope that you get an understanding of why Procore chooses to be uh, a partner with OpenSpace and why they're a strategic partner uh, of ours right now and as we go forward uh, and as they continue to develop and as we develop that partnership. So OpenSpace helps automate photo documentation. Uh, also, the, the advancements that OpenSpace has recently made uh, has allowed you to embed the full suite of OpenSpace into Procore's projects. So this is a really sweet, slick functionality that will allow you to launch OpenSpace directly within Procore without ever leaving, uh, really save you some time and save you some clicks. Also, we offer, or OpenSpace offers uh, clients with a virtual walkthrough uh, for progress uh, monitoring as you progress through the course of construction. It allows for the creation of RFIs and observations from the photos itself. Uh, and then also the content captured within OpenSpace reduces the ambiguity on site and simplifies the uh, collaboration uh, among your own uh, project stakeholders. So really excited uh, to share what they have and what uh, they offer. Uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn it over to Brent. Thank you. Thanks so much, Kevin. And, and thank you all for uh, joining us today. Really appreciate your time. All right. So uh, just a little bit of a background about OpenSpace. Um, so we came, uh, this pro product has been in development for a few years, but uh, we came out of stealth in, uh, and started deploying on projects in July of 2018. Um, we are headquartered in San Francisco, uh, but we have teammates in uh, Chicago, Boston, DC, and Los Angeles. Uh, currently, uh, we have, uh, we're up to hundreds of paying customers, uh, and we work with uh, really, any size of company, um, anywhere from mid-market large GCs, CM firms, as well as um, directly working with owners and, um, and specialty contractors as well. Um, we have projects all over the world, um, primarily focused today in uh, U.S., European Union, and uh, Asia Pacific. And um, with our automated photo documentation solution, our customers have uh, documented uh, around 400 million square feet in just under two years. A um, ba little background on our, our team. Um, so our, our leadership team has uh, some uh, pretty strong experience um, in both uh, developing companies and also developing uh, tech, uh, computer vision technology. Um, but beyond that, uh, we also have a strong uh, team in terms of experience uh, from from the industry. So um, uh, we, we've got uh, Tom Felice. He's our director of enterprise sales. Uh, he's a construction veteran, spent over 10 years uh, working on site. Um, I have five years of construction technology experience, formerly at uh, 3DR, where we developed SiteScan for mapping your projects, uh, which was recently acquired by Esri. And um, Robert Shear was formerly the GM of uh, the Autodesk Reality Capture Division. And OpenSpace uh, is trusted by a large number of customers. Um, again, anywhere from you know, small, small shops to um, you know, the, the very large uh, general contractors. And um, we, we really work with any scale of project, um, anything from a three month TI to you know, a, a massive, um, a massive stadium project. Uh, open space really scales for any size of project. And so, just a bit of background on what open space does. Um, our product uh, automated automates photo documentation with a wearable 360 camera, and computer vision technology, which automatically maps those 360 photos. Uh, onto drawings. So you have a visual record 
um, in 2D space, uh, but you get that full 360, uh, I really call it a 2.5D <laughs> experience, uh, because you get to interact in two dimensions, uh, but you get that full 360 view of what's going on on site. And everything is mapped to the floor plans for you. Uh, photos are captured every half second. And, um, and it also is organized by, uh, by drawing, by location, and uh, also by time. So um, you can select you know, any date where, where photos have been captured in the past, and you can pull those up, and you can do comparisons. And um, why did we develop this product? Um, so traditional photo documentation has some challenges. Um, so uh, you know, really the traditional way of doing things was with uh, mo you know, smartphones and um, you know, putting those into, uh, storing those on, on network drives and uh, kind of manually organizing those. Um, this was easy to do. It's easy to pull out your phone and take a photo, but um, the process of actually organizing that and making sure all of the photos are, are put into um, the correct location um, and made accessible and searchable by the team um, is really challenging. And then with photo, photo subcontractors, um, these are you know, really high quality, really great uh, for, you know, for the project, but um, due to due the cost, uh, you know, it tends to be um, pretty infrequent, maybe just at major milestones and, you know, periodically outside of that. And then with uh, traditional 360 photo solutions, um, some of the software that's out there, um, there's a high labor cost uh, and the, the coverage tends to be sparse. So um, if, you, if you don't, uh, you know, capture a 360 photo and manually pin that to the, to the location, um, you may end up missing uh, documenting something that's important. Um, you don't get that full, uh, you know, every single aspect of the project being documented that you get with open space. Um, again, because open space uh, automatically takes a photo every, every half second, um, and all of those photos are automatically mapped onto your drawings for you. Uh, there's no, no additional work necessary. You just tap record and um, start walking. Um, open space really captures a deep, um, uh, rich context of what's going on on the project. And because it's so simple, um, open space customers on average capture once per week uh, as compared to the averages of um, other solutions, which tend to be around once per month. Um, so you, you can get a weekly or even some of our customers are doing every, every other day um, documenting all of the work that's being done on the project. And um, this is enabled by, again, our, our uh, automated system. We have a, a processing engine, which is cloud-based. Um, so you do your site walk, uh, you, you upload this to the cloud after you finish your walk, and then all of that data processes and it bec becomes accessible um, with either within the Procore interface, um, but you can also um, use, use the open space data um, in Procore workflows. So you can generate observations, RFIs, uh, we integrate with the photo module. Um, and again, it's all embeddable inside of, inside of Procore. So hey, Brent, if you don't mind, I just want to, I just want to pause right there and ask, it, it looks like there's a camera uh, mounted to that hard hat. Uh, is there a specific camera that you recommend for, for the clients to use? Yeah. Um, so we currently, we, we're, just rolling out um, our production release of uh, integration with a new camera. So we, we currently support uh, the Garmin Verb 360, as well as uh, we're just rolling out the Insta 360 One X. So that's, that's in customers, uh, you know, a small group of customers' hands today, but we're doing a, a broader rollout pro uh, plan around that. All right, thank you. Great. Um, now I'm gonna give you a quick uh, walkthrough of what you actually see with open space. So um, this, this is the 360 viewer. Uh, so all these photos are, are automatically mapped to the floor plans for you. Um, you get to navigate uh, via the drawings. So you can select any photo on that, on that path and um, you know, it'll pull that information up for you. Um, and you can navigate either via the drawing uh, up in the top right there um, or via um, blue, the blue waypoints um, that allow you to click and, and navigate through, uh, through your project. 
And uh, in addition to that, um, it makes it really, really simple to do, uh, you know, pro to explain what, what progress has happened between two dates. Um, you can simply pull up our split view, um, select a previous date, and then it's, it's incredibly straightforward to convey, hey, here's the work that was done uh, between these two points in time. So this uh, it's, uh, makes it incredibly simple for communicating uh, progress and also just getting everyone on the same page. Um, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's hard to argue with a picture. So when, you, when you're documenting, it, when you're able to document all work that's being done, um, it's, a, it's really a great tool for um, you know, getting everyone on the same page and um, simplifying communication. In addition to our 360 photos, you can also snap smart, uh, you just mobile phone photos as you're doing your site walk. And those will also be pinned to the floor plan automatically. So um, this is great for things like, uh, you know, punch out and, um, and also, you know, documenting if, if there's um, some site cleanliness issues, being able to go through and quickly snap photos uh, as you're already doing a site walk. And um, you know, you, all of a sudden you've got this you know, full, full data set of around all of the issues that need to be taken care of. And then those can be pushed directly into Procore. And so um, really what our, our system of automation allows is it, it enables uh, much higher frequency documentation um, because uh, the, the time savings are so great on the actual capturing of photos. And because this can be made a part of uh, normal site walks, um, it really ma makes, uh, makes, you know, it, it saves, um, you know, across many projects, it'll save thousands of hours. And, um, you know, you can have confidence knowing that all work being done is visually documented. Um, it's something that's especially uh, critical about our system and something that uh, we're, we're really excited about is our, our new vision engine. Uh, this came out um, uh, around June of last year. And uh, you know, previously, um, our, our processing took uh, around four to, four to six hours uh, to you know, upload to the cloud and then um, have everything mapped onto, onto the drawings. Now, um, with our new vision engine, we essentially take almost like fingerprint the, um, the photos. And with that system, we actually can map those photos to their location um, in on average around 15 minutes. Uh, and this is compared to uh, between 24 and 48 hours of alternative solutions that are out there. So our, our new vision engine system, um, it actually enables a lot of uh, construction workflows um, because if you have your data right away, that means you can use you know, the, the open space photos for things like observations and RFIs. Um, and you know, here, here are um, some of the other uh, uses that our customers use open space data for. Um, so our customers will use open space in uh, project pursuit. Uh, they'll do uh, walkthroughs. Uh, if they get access to, to a site, they'll use open space to document it so they can communicate that back to their team. Um, as part of the, you know, as part of their project pursuit. Um, in addition to that, of course, visual documentation, uh, progress reports, uh, then observations and RFI workflows. Um, but in addition to that, it's a great tool to pull up during meetings. So, so if you're in a look ahead meeting, progress meeting, or an OAC meeting, um, what better way to get everyone on the same page? Um, and many other purposes, but uh, in addition to that, we have people review pay apps um, or uh, to create backup for pay apps um, using our system, uh, as well as uh, you know, punch list and uh, close out. And actually, we, we, have, um, uh, we are just releasing a handover documentation as well. So at the end of a project, you actually can deliver an owner um, an offline version of open space with the full 360 viewer capability. Um, that they can actually host themselves. And um, uh, this is a, just a quote uh, or a, a walkthrough of um, why Beck uh, chose us on a project uh, as a mutual customer with Open Space and Procore. This is from a, a webinar, a joint webinar we did last, uh, last year. Um, but in a, in a head to head comparison uh, for Dickies Arena, um, Beck chose Open Space because of the speed. Uh, the ease of use and learning curve, it's incredibly simple to deploy. You just tap record and we'll start walking. 
And because of our uh, advanced field note capability that those are those smartphone photos automatically mapped onto the floor plans during that site walk as well. Uh, now I'm going to give a quick walkthrough of our Procore integration. Uh, so again, we have the embedded experience that allows you to embed open space directly into Procore. Uh, we have SSO, uh, we have an observations integration, as well as RFIs and the photo module. Hey, Brent, before, before we get into the actual Procore integration itself, uh, we do have a couple questions that I, I, I want to address. Uh, the first one we have here is how seamless of a transition for snapshots to Procore records. So if they were to do observations, uh, do they just go to the phone uh, and then a link or how does that transition work? Yeah, so, so today, and I'll, I'll, I'll be walking through that next. Um, so the, the way our, our functionality works today is that's done um, uh, through, um, we call them field notes, but you can use any 360 photo and you use that to generate an observation or an RFI. Um, and that, uh, the way that that works in our system is uh, via the browser. All right, thank you. Uh, the next question that we have here is, can the Insta360 camera be mounted to a hard hat? Yes, so we've actually developed a, a mount for the Insta360, uh, but we, we also support, you know, if you want to use a monopod, you can use that if you want to, if you want to hold it. Uh, but we, we do have a, um, a, a nice uh, kind of streamlined uh, 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 mount for the Insta360, and it's, it's not just pointing vertically up because it's a, a very tall camera. <laughs> so we actually created a, a cradle for it that, so it sits uh, on, on its side. All right, thank you. Great. That's all we've got for right now. Cool. All right, so... Um, I'm going to walk you through our uh, Procore integration. So this is our embedded experience. Um, so directly from within Procore, your project, you can uh, you can open up OpenSpace uh, using that app dropdown. And uh, so within Procore, you have access to every single photo that's been that's been documented within OpenSpace. And uh, that means that you know you don't necessarily need to push all that data uh, over to Procore right away. You can just push over the, the data that you need to push over when when you need to use it. So um, here you're seeing uh, we're generating uh, an observation. So this is this is how the workflow works. Um, you so within Procore you can use any photo. Uh, then uh, you you know fill out all the information that you would fill out on on a, a standard observation. And, um, and then once you've uh, filled that information out, uh, that, that pushes uh, into observations. So in addition to um, you know, all this information and the image uh, that, that we uh, push over, we also generate, um, and I'll show you this here in a second, we also generate a PDF. Um, and this, this PDF, uh, it's a really nice way to Give some context um, about uh, about what you're actually looking at. Uh, so, uh, in addition to you know having that location, um, it actually gives you a gives you a, a view of the where the camera is actually pointing on on the floor plan on the drawing there. Um, so that's that's a really nice way to communicate. Hey, this is exactly where the issue is, and um, this is actually the direction the camera is pointing as well. And for those of you who do use BIM, um, we also, uh, again, this is in, inside of the Procore interface, um, we, we do have our BIM viewer. And uh, this allows you to compare um, uh, reality with, uh, with what, what was designed. And something that's, uh, you know, just again, great about this, this, this uh, brings this technology into, um, into your Procore project. Um, so you, you have a full model, uh, as you can see here, I'm turning objects, uh, on and off so I can, uh, match up, um, the, the photo to, or the model to the, the stage of construction in the photo. Um, so as you can see here, I've, I've matched up these, um, these as well. And in addition to that, you can look at, um, you can view properties for, for objects as well. So um, in terms of our, some of our key, key differentiators and, and the critical factors to consider when you're looking at a 360 solution, um, a lot of it really comes down to speed. Um, is, this, uh, is this 
fast to document? Um, is this something that can be done quickly? Is this so something that can be done as part of um, as part of our normal site walks? And then in addition to that, the speed of turnaround time. So if I'm doing automated photo documentation, how quickly do I get those results back? Um, can I use them in 15 minutes? Can I use them to generate RFIs today? Um, because if you have to wait longer, then that's not going to be a, a something that's useful for something like an RFI. Um, and then is it really automated? Um, can I just press uh, set my location one time and begin walking? Uh, and will everything be from there on out be mapped the floor plan for me? And then something that I think is really important, and this is really aligned with uh, with Procore as well, is do you know do I do I get customer success included with my with that license? So with open space, um, you you get a customer success team, um, and their only their job at uh, at our company is is to ensure that you're getting the value out of out of the software that you've you've purchased. Um, and then uh, some final items uh, is, is how quickly can can someone be up and running and successful with this solution? Is it uh, you know a one click and and go solution, or is there a learning curve to you know setting up my photo locations and you know, making sure that I've got the right coverage. And then um, last couple items here, uh, Procore, um, it's, it's critical. Uh, with Open Space, uh, over half of our projects are actually activated with our Procore integrations. And, um, you know, it's important to know that uh, we are actively developing additional, uh, additional integrations and we are, you know, we're investing heavily in this partnership. Uh, and then finally, do I get a full model? Uh, if, if I use BIM, <laughs> not, of course, not everyone does, but if I use BIM, do I get that full model uh, in the browser that I can use to compare uh, my design versus reality? Hey, Brent, <clears throat> a, a couple of things really uh, stand out to me as a, as a former uh, project engineer working in the industry. Um, this, this really resonates with me. Uh, a couple of things that, that stand out to me is just the automation itself and the learning curve. So uh, myself, I just remember uh, being in the field and walking a couple of things would happen. First is that uh, the project would get uh, rocking and rolling and, and when things start to uh, go down, go downhill or when things would go south, that's when photo documentation starts to go south and, and goes off the wayside. That's really when the documentation needs to be uh, picked up even more aggressively. Uh, so I, I it's just the automation element of this to be able to set that on your hard hat and be able to walk the job site uh, eliminates that from being an issue. The second thing that I remember uh, happening to me is, uh, you know, I'd be walking the job site and I'd be doing my own due diligence and taking photo documentation. Maybe it was in wall inspections or above ceilings before we put sheetrock on. Uh, and um, I didn't necessarily know what needed to be captured or those minute details that needed to be captured in those photographs um, until afterwards when there was a problem and we needed to go back and reference those photos uh, because there was a critical uh, event that happened and uh, now we either need to go above over ceiling or, or open up some sheetrock and because we don't have that documentation. So uh, really it, it's neat that you guys are able to take those photos, stitch them together uh, and then just the learning curve in general, just, you know, how easy is it to just put on a hard hat and walk that path uh, and, and capture that. So uh, I just want to let you know that really stands out to me and it's pretty neat. Do you have any, uh, thanks. thanks Kevin. Do you have uh, any, any uh, stories or anything, any background as to. Yeah. <laughs> um, so actually that that's the, what you just raised reminded me um, Actually, one of uh, one of our early customers, um, we we uh, you know got them set up with a camera. Uh, they did their first. Uh, actually, it was like a test walk, and um, later on, they realized that they they accidentally uh, took a photo of something that, that turned out to save them on a on a change order. Um, it was. Uh, something up in the ceiling, uh, things got covered up, uh, trade was supposed to do something that they didn't do. And um, they, they were able to um, actually go back and, and, and see that, um, you know, before things were covered up, um, hey, this, this was the state on this date, and you, you assured us this would, was going to be done by this date. So um, it actually saved the general contractor um, you know, something that would have been an out-of-pocket expense for them. That's great. Thank you. Great. So now we can open it up to Q&A.
Yeah, we, we've got quite a bit of questions here. So I'm just going to start going through them. Uh, the first question that we have here is, does the GPS coverage affect the quality of the capture? So our, our system uh, works, it's uh, actually similar technology to, um, it's a, a self-driving car kind of technology, uh, navigation in a GPS denied environment. Um, so our system, it can ingest GPS data, but it is absolutely not required. Uh, in fact, with if you turn all the GPS off on, on all your devices, our system will still work and process the data without issue. All right, thank you. Uh, the next question that we have here is, uh, can you have the 3D viewer on an iPad as well? Uh, yes, the 3D viewer should work on the iPad as well. All right, Charles, uh, got your question here and it says, uh, uh, if you are creating a punch list while utilizing open space, are you able to link created punch items to the 360 photo after the upload? So, uh, and that's punch items in, in Procore, I'm presuming. I believe so. so yeah. Yes, the answer is not yet, and uh, that kind of speaks to uh, what I'm what I'm referencing in terms of our our investment in this in this relationship. Um, we 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 know that that's a great use case, and uh, many of our customers will use open space uh, for doing you know pre punch or punch walks. Um, but as of today, we don't have that integration, uh, but we look forward to building that. And actually, just to hit on that, uh, Brent and I had a conversation previously, uh, and we talked about doing a follow-up. Uh, just a part of our partnership is uh, just putting those API endpoints in place so we're able to continue to develop uh, to accommodate you know, both platforms. So um, we're looking forward to seeing that, hopefully. Exactly. Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, um, we've got a question here. It says, uh, where's the data house? How do you secure data photos for sensitive job sites? Yeah, so uh, the 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 data is stored. It's a, a, we were on uh, Amazon AWS, um, and so it is stored in the cloud. Um, and we we uh, have a pretty robust set of uh, security protocols um, in terms of our business. Um, uh, as a, a part of um, being able to sell in the European Union, we adhere to um, GDPR uh, practices, and we do regular security reviews as a team. Um, if anyone would like more information on our uh, security uh, protocols, I'd be happy to share um, some of our, our cloud data security practices with you. And then also, uh, just to kind of hit on that from the product side from Procore, uh, we can always manage that through permissions as well. So we put the appropriate permissions uh, in place within the photos tool uh, to make sure that when that content and when that data gets into Procore, that there's not going to be uh, individuals on your project or stakeholders uh, seeing those photos who probably shouldn't be seeing those photos. So we'll work with you um, and we'll also work with your uh, customer success managers to make sure that those uh, barriers are in place. Yeah, and, and actually to that point, um, uh, open space requires a, a, requires a login. Um, there uh, there are, are not really ways that you can, um, well, there are no ways that you can access the data um, without having that secure login. Um, so, you know, you have total control over who has, who has access and who doesn't have access. And uh, our, our permissions are actually uh, separate from Procore's permissions. So even if you use the embedded experience, you still need to have an open space account. Uh, so you, you can control who, who sees what. Uh, and we also have some fine tuned controls. If you wanna share just certain, uh, certain views of the data with, with say an owner, um, say you, you don't necessarily wanna share every single photo that's ever been documented. Um, you, you have the ability to share just individual photos while uh, still giving them that, um, that full open space experience through the web. Thank you, Brad. Uh, we got one here. Uh, somebody's asking if we can just get rid of the laser scanners and just use the imagery. Yeah, so our, our system, um, <laughs> it doesn't require laser scan. Um, it's, uh, it's really, it's made, uh, made possible by these consumer off the shelf 360 cameras. So, um, if, if what you're using from a laser scan is you're actually just grabbing the panos out of those, I'd say that's a perfect use case to swap out that process with, uh, using open space. You're, you're going to get, you're, you're, uh, you're going to be getting information about 20 to 30 times faster than you can, um, with laser scan, maybe even faster than that. That's pretty awesome. 
All right. Uh, we've got one that's a follow-up to an earlier question about the BIM viewer. Uh, this uh, person says, uh, sorry, is the BIM viewer a part of OpenSpace app or the Procore app? Uh, the BIM viewer is part of OpenSpace, um, but through the embedded experience, uh, it, it actually gives you uh, that cloud-based BIM viewing functionality inside of Procore if you, if you so choose. Thank you. One here from Rob. Is the alignment of the BIM model to the photos dependent on the layout origin and the BIM model origin, or is it a manual process? Yes, so um, we, we have a registration process uh, that uh, it's, it's how those, those pieces align. Um, and it's, yeah, essentially, uh, you're, uh, uh, well, today we align uh, the, the model and the drawing for you, uh, but we are working on some functionality that'll um, allow self-service on that. All right, another one here. Uh, appreciate your guys' questions, keep them coming. We, we do have a lot of good ones here. Uh, one here from Shannon. Is the open space data available for selection from within the Procore records? So if I wanted to grab a snapshot taken from open space, but I'm creating a record from Procore, is that possible? So as of now, the the uh, the, the open space photos um, have to be pushed from open space to Procore in order for those to be accessible. There's um, currently there's no way to uh, start in Procore and and extract a photo from open space. So um, you can push the th uh, 360 photo um, over using our our photos integration. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, there there are the other workflows that we integrate with as well. All right, here's a, a one we've got. Uh, any mobile tool functionality with respect to specific markers, et cetera, uh, during the work uh, would make viewing capture data later and linking records quicker. Uh, so, sorry, can you, can you repeat that question? Um, yeah, it sounds like so. Um, are there any mobile tool functionalities with respect to, respect to specific markers uh, during the walk? Um, it would oh, make the, um, yeah, it would make the viewing capture yeah. data later, linking records quicker. Um, I, if, I, I'm not sure I'm completely understanding, but um, we do, uh, we, with some new functionality we have, um, we're rolling out right now, um, we, we do have the ability to essentially set up um, uh, uh, like photo locations so you can go and snap uh, 360 photos at, at set um, set locations, predefined locations. Um, not, sh not sure if that answers your question. I apologize if I'm missing something. No, you're great. You're good. Um, if, if that did not answer the question, um, go ahead and please uh, chat in again and, and we'll want to clarify uh, what you meant there. So thank you. A um, couple other ones. If we're using laser scanning, is there a way to augment the open space output and vice versa? Um, so uh, as of today, we, we don't uh, don't have the ability to display a dense uh, uh, laser scan point cloud uh, in our system, but um, it, we're always looking at uh, at you know, how we can streamline and improve uh, construction workflows. So um, I'd love to set up some time to chat and understand uh, what kind of workflow you're you're looking to solve with uh, pulling laser scan data. In. Right, one right here. Uh, can we upload static 360 photos to open space that are taken outside of the app and pin them to a location in the floor plan? So as of today, we do not have um, uh, kind of an arbitrary 360 photo pinning uh, option, uh, but it is something that we have discussed, uh, especially with you know things like uh, if you want to ingest something like you know, 360 photo from a drone or anything along those lines. Um, definitely hear that there's some some valuable use cases there. Um, so the answer is unfortunately not today, but um, it's something we may support here in the future. All right, we got one here. Uh, is there a plan to integrate AR into the program? Would be great to be able to go out to the field and overlay past photos onto existing uh, conditions. Example, in-wall systems after drywall is installed. Yeah, so um, we actually, we have a, a feature in our in our mobile app that's called Reveal Mode. Um, it it uh, allows you to, to pull up, uh, use a slider to kind of toggle between um, 
uh, the past 360 photo and the um, the camera, so you can actually uh, use that to to do I think what you're saying. All right. Uh, we got a couple more that I'm going to go ahead and type out. Uh, in the meantime, feel free to answer any questions. Uh, if you don't have any questions, we appreciate your time. We appreciate you guys uh, coming and joining us today. Again, Open Space uh, is a strategic partner of ours. Uh, we've chosen them because we want our clients and we want Open Space uh, prospects to, to really know uh, how that, that, uh, that is going to streamline their process on their projects and how the documentation is going to be enhanced uh, through that collaboration and through that integration. So so uh, I do have a, a quick poll for you. Uh, if you don't mind participating, we would appreciate it. But I'm going to go ahead and launch that, and then uh, we'll give you some time back in your day. Thank you. Thanks so much, Kevin.